वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड इंटरफेसिंग प्ले लिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू कंट्रोल वर्ड एंड ऑपरेटिंग मोड्स ऑफ एट टू फाइव फाइव आई सी इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू बेसिक फीचर्स एंड वर्किंग ऑफ एट टू फाइव फाइव इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ कंट्रोल रजिस्टर इज डिफाइनिंग इन विच मोड विच पोर्ट शुड फंक्शन एज वेल एज how all those modes are working so complete understanding regarding how operating modes are there with 8255 that is included in this video so first of all what i'll be doing is i'll be going to explain you control register of 8255 so that will gives you resolution about how operating modes are there with 8255 so my dear students when we talk about control word you should know it is having 8 bits of control word and this control word that will get selected by a0 a1 terminal of 8255 if it is 11 then control word will get selected and we can load control word through d0 to d7 bits of 8255 right it defines working of io ports a b and c how it defines working let us try to understand that so as i have said it is of 8 bits right so let us see what is happening with first bit that is d7 bit so my dear students this first bit d7 bit that justifies io mode or bsr mode if it is 1 then 8255 will function in io mode if it is 0 then 8255 will be working in bsr mode how it will work with io mode that even i'll be explaining you now let us see what is happening with d5 and d6 bits so that is to define in which mode port a will function as i have said my dear students port a functions with mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 right port b functions with mode 0 and mode 1 and port c that is functioning in bsr mode only right and its working is there in terms of handshaking signals with mode 1 and mode 2 so this d6 and d5 bit that will define mode of port a if it is 0 0 port a will be there in mode 0 if it is 0 1 port will port a will be there in mode 1 if it is 1 x means one don't care in that case port a will be there in mode 2 now my dear students let us see d4 bit so that is the regarding port a in which you will have to define that port a is there as per input mode or output mode right mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 that is a different story that explains you what kind of mode is there but port a is there with input or output that will be defined by this d4 bit now let us see what is happening with d3 bit so d3 bit that is there with upper nibble of port c right and if it is 1 then that upper nibble will be working as input and if it is 0 upper nibble of port c that will be working as output and this d2 bit that will be defining mode of port b if it is 0 port b port b will be there in mode 0 if it is 1 then port b that will be there in mode 1 d1 bit that will be justifying whether this port b is input port or output port right so if it is 1 it will be input if it is 0 it will be output port and this d0 bit that is there regarding lower nibble of port c so as if lower nibble of port c that is there as per input in that case it should be 1 if lower nibble of port c that is there as per output this bit should be 0 so this control word that will justify whether this 8255 is there in io or bsr mode as i have said in io there are total three modes right so if io mode is there this first bit that should be 1 if it is there in bsr mode this should be 0 with io mode port a is having three modes mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 port b that is having two modes mode 0 and mode 1 and port c that functions with bsr mode only so my dear students first of all i'll explain you how bsr mode is there 
so when we talk about bsr mode means beat set reset mode then my dear students you should know that works with port c only and here let us try to understand how it will be working with port c so this d7 bit that should be zero if this is zero then only this 8255 is there with bsr mode so this bit that should be zero first after that d6 d5 d4 those are not used over here with B bsr mode and this d3 d2 d1 that will be selecting which bit should be set or reset right so if this bs2 bs1 and bs0 if it is 0 0 0 it will be selecting pc0 terminal right and that pc0 terminal is 0 or 1 that will be decided by d0 bit right so this bs2 bs1 bs0 that is used to select individual terminal of port c and whether that terminal is having 0 or 1 that will be decided by d0 if this d0 bit is 1 then selected bit that will be 1 and if d0 is 0 in that case whatever terminal that we are selecting that will be 0 right so selection of pc0 to pc7 terminal that will be done by these three bits and on that terminal what data should be there it should be 0 or 1 that will be decided by this d0 bit so that is how my dear students bsr mode that is there with port c now my dear students let me explain you input output mode as i have said this d7 bit that should be one to operate with io mode and i have already told you my dear students port a and port b that will be working with io mode right how it will be working with io mode let us try to understand that step by step so my dear students when we talk about io modes of 8255 there are total three io modes with three ports of 8255 here as if you want to see how those modes are there then again i am explaining you port a is working with mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 port b functions with mode 0 and mode 1 only right and port c that is there for bsr mode only and mode 0 that is applicable for all the ports here you should know my dear students this port c that is been used as handshaking for mode 1 and mode 2 right so here when we talk about mode 0 it is simple io mode in which simply we just take data or we just output the data here we don't need synchronization right with mode 0 simple io mode is there in which output are latched but input are not latched that you should know my dear students here output are latched but input are not latched right and here port do not have interrupt handling capacity so here with mode 0 port a port b and port c does not have interrupt handling capacity my dear students when we talk about mode 1 that will be io mode with handshake and you should know my dear students mode 1 is applicable to port a and port b and handshaking will be done by port c there will be three terminals that you will be using from port c for handshaking for example if i say port a and port b those are working with mode 1 then data transfer will happen with port a and port b but for that whatever handshaking is required that will be done by port c so three terminals of port c that will be providing handshaking to port a and three another terminals of port c that will be providing handshaking to port b that is how mode 1 is operating so here each port use three lines from port c as handshake signals and here you should know input and output are latched and interrupt handling is supported over here with mode 1 right which was not there with mode 0 and when we talk about mode 2 my dear students here bi-directional io mode is there right this mode 1 with io with handshake that was not bi-directional 
right but this mode 2 that is bidirectional io mode in which only port a is applicable and here port c's role that is to provide handshake so my dear students you should know five lines of port c that we are using it for handshake right for out we use three lines and for in another two lines are used with port c so total five lines that we use it for handshake in mode 2 right and bsr mode that we have already discussed in detail so i don't think i should explain anything more than this with these modes of operation so my dear students these are the basics that you should know there are two types of modes io and bsr bsr is there with port c only with io you will have to see mode 0 is applicable to all ports right port a handles all io modes port b handles only mode 0 and mode 1 and port c role is to provide handshaking signal right with mode 1 three lines will be there for handshaking and with mode 2 five lines will be there with handshaking that is how complete structure is there still if any confusion is there you just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you